Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over some career mods for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This will give us a reason to fly if you're getting a little bored. Stick around to the end, and I've got an added bonus for all the VFR flyers coming up on this episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. Before we get started in today's video, I just want to let you know that this is not going to be an in-depth tutorial on any of these career mods. I'm not going to be going over any download and installation. We're just going to briefly go over the career mod itself, talk about the price, and then we'll move on to the next one. If you guys have any questions along the way, post them down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. If the video helps you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. The first career add-on that we're gonna go over today is a free add-on by FS Economy. This is a multiplayer persistent world add-on for flight simulators with an economical focus. I say it's persistent because the aspects of the game, such as aircraft location, fuel levels, etc., are controlled by the players. One thing to note here, FS Economy is not a virtual airline. There's no schedules, there are no levels, there are no requirements to start from the bottom and work your way up the ladder. Getting started with FS Economy is a little bit different than you may be used to with other career add-ons. They have a great getting started section over here on the right. I highly recommend to check that out. Once you're done there, they have also provided a fantastic user guide. If you head up to the quick link section and tick on the user guide, this will give us pretty much anything you need to know about FS Economy from getting started all the way down to owning your own FBO. If you are new to FS Economy, I highly recommend to check out the Getting Started section, as this will give us all the compatible simulators, as well as the different client softwares that are compatible with communicating with the online server. Let me know your thoughts about FS Economy down below in the comments section. Next up on the list is FS Airlines. There are two different versions of this application, a paid and a free version. This is a virtual airline manager with over 500 virtual airlines and over 3,000 pilots. On the main webpage here, you can see just how many virtual airlines there are, as well as how many pilots there are on the platform. It also will show us how many pilots are currently flying on the network. If we head over here to the Features tab at the top, this will give us some more in-depth features about FS Airlines, as well as a couple screenshots. There is a flight tracker that you need to download to connect to the online application, and you can download that right here by clicking on the download link, or you can check in the download section at the top of the screen. If we head over here to the pricing tab, you can see the different tiers that they have available to purchase. Over here on the left, we have the standard free version, and this will allow you to fly as a pilot for an existing virtual airline. This will not allow you to create your own virtual airline if that's what you are aiming for. To be able to create your own virtual airline, you're gonna to need to upgrade your package to either the one euro a month or the 350 euro a month package. At the very bottom, we have a couple limitations for the different memberships. You can go ahead and read that. Let me know your thoughts about FS Airlines down below in the comments section. Next on the list is Air Hauler 2 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is a paid career add-on, but this is only a one-time payment of $49.99. Air Hauler 2 puts you in complete control of your own freight and passenger company. Take charge of the operations in both the boardroom and in the cockpit. The level of complexity is completely up to you. Simply fly jobs between bases and buy or lease aircraft, or carve out a career in the air freight or airline industry by hiring AI pilots and risking everything on loans to fill up your dream hangar. If you currently use Air Hauler 2, let me know down below in the comments. Next up on the list is On Air Airline Manager. Manage your own airline company in an online persistent world. Basically, you are starting out with a small airline and trying to grow it into a larger airline. You start by running a small aircraft and transporting some goods. If you're a flight simmer, you can fly these missions yourself. If you're not, you can hire a virtual pilot and have them fly it for you. The other neat thing about On Air is we can choose the world in which we want to fly in. We have three different options here at the bottom, starting with Cumulus on the left. And this is going to be best for first-time CEOs, 
as it features both the most forgiving rule set and facilitates a tutorial that will reward you with a free Cessna 172 to get you started on your career path. Stratus is the middle of the line. This is where you can still utilize AI employees to fly planes even when you are away from the computer. And we also have expert level. In this world, every flight your company performs must be completed by you in a connected simulator. Onair does offer a free trial. To get there, just click on the free trial button and you will see your download link pop up for you. To check out the various plans, we're just gonna tap on the see plans button and now we can take a look and see what these are gonna cost you. And as you can see, we have five different options here to choose from, either a one month, three month, six month, 12 month, or 24 month subscription. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Next up on the list is NeoFly. This is a free career add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and this is more geared towards bush pilots or bush missions. You can also fly a lot of regular missions with this as well. The other cool thing about NeoFly is they offer many different types of missions, as in rescue missions, they offer drop zones, they have different advertising missions. There are so many different missions that they have available in NeoFly. It's probably one of my favorite career add-ons. To get started with NeoFly, there's a couple things that we need to download. The first thing is the main installer application for NeoFly. Below that, we have a couple other add-ons that are recommended to download and input into your community folder. Under each of these, it will give a brief description as to what these add-ons are. If you use NeoFly, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Next up on the list is Skypark by Parallel42. This is gonna be another paid application. Skypark is gonna be a little bit different from the other career add-ons that we talked about previously, as this is really gonna give us a way to explore and experience the world in which we live. We don't have to be held down by any sort of schedules or flight times or things like that. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. When you download this application, you're gonna get the Skypark Skypad. In this Skypad, we have the different contracts that you can choose to fly. You do also earn money on your different flights, which will be located in your holding section. As you can see, I've just downloaded this fresh the other day, so I don't have anything in here. But unfortunately, at this particular time, we can't actually use any of the money that are in our holdings for anything in the application as of right now. But they are making some big improvements to the Skypark Skypad, so there's going to be many more things to come with this, so just keep a lookout for that. To purchase the Skypark application, you're going to click the Buy Now button on their webpage, and this will take you over to the Orbix website, in which you're going to have to download the Orbix Contrail application, I believe that's what it is, and all the purchases will be done through that application that will sit on your desktop. As you can see here, the Skypark application is 2956 US or 2944 euros. The last career add-on that we're gonna go over today before we get to our added bonus at the end is a Pilot's Life Chapter Two. This is probably one of my favorite career add-ons for airline pilots as most of your missions are, no, I should say all of your missions are going to be airline missions. You're not going to have any bush missions like you will with NeoFly or even FS Economy. Now, unlike some of the other career mods, this is not necessarily a virtual airline, so you're not working to build up an airline or anything. So you will just be flying as a pilot for different various airlines. Gentlemen, welcome aboard. Captain, your navigator, Mr. Unger, and your first officer, Mr. Dunn. Unger? Over. Over. Done. Gentlemen, let's get to work and start out with a not so good airline and work your way up to a five-star airline making a lot of money in which you can put towards different airline license or aircraft licenses. You do have to own a license to operate the aircraft and they do start you out with enough to do so. If you own a Pilot's Life Chapter 2, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments section. And now for our free bonus add-on application, Bush Talk Radio. This is not necessarily going to be a career add-on application, but what this is going to do is for all of the VFR pilots that are out there that like to explore all the different ends of the world, this is going to be a fantastic way for you to learn a little bit about the area in which you're flying. So over here on the left, there's a couple different things that you need to do to get started here. 
If you click on the Get Started, it'll bring you up to the GitHub page in which you can download the application you're gonna need to be running on your PC. Below that, we have Browse Audio Tours, and I think you have pretty much guessed it what we're gonna be able to do here. And if you click on any one of these, it will give you a complete audio tour of the area in which you're flying. This is so cool because obviously, if you're flying in certain areas, you may not know the history behind them or what the area is all about. This is actually going to let us know via audio while we are flying in that area. It's also gonna have a flight tracker on the screen in which we can see where our plane is at any given moment. This is a fantastic free add-on. I highly recommend everybody to download this and try it out, especially if you're a VFR pilot because, well, let's face it, if you're 30,000 feet in the air, you really can't see much anyway. So, <laughs> all right, folks, I think that's gonna end us for today's video. If you guys have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. All the links for all of these different add-ons will also be down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. If the video helped you out today, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.